welcome back to the Gospel of Poets. Ms. Hall, we thank you for listening in and supporting us, the Gospel of Poets on KGGN 890 AM in Kansas City. We're going to bring back Tanae Mitchell, J-O-L, Joy of Life. Hey y'all, this is me again, and I'm coming with my poem, Within. Sometimes I wonder, should my heart be darker than my skin? It eats me inside out because it lies within. It's, it spill out on my paper. Pain drips from my pen. Pain is so close, we might as well be kin. Pain is close like a brother, no other choice but to look ahead because you might fall back. My heart feels black about a minute. Pain lies within it. It's abusing the limit. Sometimes I feel like I'm a pain mimic. It's within my heart. It flows through my vein. Ask my blood type. It's this thing called pain. Can't see the sunshine because my eyes rain. Sometimes it just can't refrain. It flows like water. Never goes down the drain. God, this is so crazy. It feels so insane. My pain bleeds red and my eyes drip blue. Pain surrounds my mind. I don't have a clue what to do. I feel so alone, surrounded by a crew. I talk to pain, and pain feels pain too. I ask the question, what's pain's destiny to hurt even more? I feel so soft because pain is hardcore. I feel stepped over like a floor. I don't feel like I'm the key to any door. I ask God the question, why? Why do I cry? Why do I try? Why do I get by? He tells the truth because he wants me to feel happy instead of blue. Thank you. J-O-L, Joy of Life. Thank you, Mrs. Zaid, for calling in and supporting us here on KGGN, <laughs> the Gospel of Poets. Our next poet is Archuleta, the, the poetry diva. Hello again. Um, this next piece that I want to read for you is called Up, and is dedicated to the men. Society breaks a continuous sweat and demands toil from their armored soldiers. No matter how the elements choose to take their stance, the consensus is that man must rise up. Although you hold bravery and consciousness in your heart, time waits for no one. As soon as you place your footsteps out into this world that despises you so, we hold you responsible. Let me mention that the images on the television should by no means distort your vision. Up, they say. Man, up. Onto God's shoulders, for he will hold you high. Don't ever sell your soul to the devil, for he is not on your side. I know the playing field is not level. You are expected to rise to an occasion that is not always pleasant. Your voice is often ignored and your side of the situation becomes irrelevant. Up, they say. Stand up at your enemy's table, for he will see God within you. You are taught to uplift a world that is not always welcoming. Your cries are often mistaken for weakness and your plight deafening. You make a choice to respect your queen by not raising your hand, because the fear of God is worse than any prison could reprimand. Putting food in your children's mouths comes as a priority, and you won't allow anyone or anything to come between you and that authority. Please don't be afraid by the haters that are afraid by your fervent display. Up, they say. Hold up on accepting the status quo that you know is not your birthright. Somehow your spirit won't allow you to believe that you can't win this fight. From the street corner to the boardroom, you are worthy. Hold your head high and accept the ordained mission that God has provided. Up, they will say. Up. Stand up and accept your rightful place. Archuleta, the poetry diva. Our next poet, Mr. Christian Williams. Okay, um, this next one I'm about to do is called The, uh, the Rest of You know, just a little further on to my testimony. Um, you know, just dealing with everyday life. Um, by the way, um, just for y'all 
to know on Facebook. You know, my, my code name also is Young Guy Young, so feel free to add me. That's what I'm um, I sit in a stressful peace. As I wrestle with me in this vessel of me, though I look as if I'm at ease because I formed a fine practice action, acting as if I'm free, but I'm fasting and vasting, chanting change chats to my past tactics spiritually. Though Jesus is my passion, caption, Captain King dreams my everything, and the thought about talking about his name just causes my soul to sing. Sometimes it doesn't help this self what to do. Kept shut to deep, spiritual heat harassing me. Clashing, contractions, contractions, confessing, contesting, compressing the corrections, connection to this complex, caress, compassion he has for me. And it's burning my every thought as if I'm battling acid ashes inside of me, that my last life was lived like I was Sodom King. I mean, all sin is the same thing. Spiritually wise, I crucified Jesus like Sadducees. Mentally trying to minimize the love device he had for me. Strive to divide, crucify, deny them like the next generation mirage into like my fellow seeds with this heavy heart and heart. I should be a part of Pharaoh's breed because if my soul searched, I have Pharaoh's greed and have done so many Pharaoh's deeds as if I signed Pharaoh's creed. So why have I not been following Pharaoh's destiny? As I keep failing every test of me and my narrow mind corresponds to steps in me. When I know, Lord, that less is me, yet the thought still perplexes me. When I, you give me your love, simple complexity. But the fact that I am unworthy, the fact that I am still dirty, the fact that these uncontrolling factions yet still hurts me, just adds to the fact that the fact is I am nothing worthless without desertion, you see. Not only do I not deserve thee, but, Father, I don't deserve me. Before you every surge and rebirth me, took time to work off the curve and my purchase before you merge me in this mental. You see this, I broke me. Hung on to sense work while the stroke smirking and gloat and choke me until life and death, Lord, I curse me so I know I'm unfit to serve thee. So why in spite do you still serve me? Master, I do not know. But every day when I strayed away, you still woke me. And though I was unthankful, my right mind, you still clothed me. And when sin went to bring in and provoke me, instead you just bled, shed, and provoked me. And in spite of what you showed, told, and exposed me, I still push away and deserve thee. And as I yell as loud as I can in my mental, something open outside of me as if a window and a mint in my head closer than this paper and pencil said, I am the one who sent you. Why are you playing as if you're the victim, praying on your past and victims, portraying your weak and sick symptoms, praying with your earthly heart? Yes, you've hindered you, but I wanted you weak so I could strengthen you. I wanted you sick so I could start healing you to be unfertile soil so I can quicken you. You may not understand and don't pretend to. Why are you trying to understand me when you have yet to comprehend you? Telling me how many times have I eluded you with the trials and tribulations I improved you, sent my spirit to soothe you while he ministers and use you. I am perfection and so are my best souls and blessed tools. So as long as you're in me, then I will remain in you. And it's just that plain and simple. When I said, Father, I still remember. Even after that day, you wowed me. And I vowed to see I was stretched in the corner of mine, which clouds me, assisting me when I defile me. And I still remain in this corner of mine, assisting me when I defile me. Got me singing, I once was lost, but now I'm found. I once was blind, but now I see when it's ten. The sin I tend to sneak within is still towering over me. It's like I'm a hypocrite, and I am sick of this because you blessed me with your spiritual truth. Teaching me since my spiritual youth, and I just gave your spirit abuse, forcing him to witness my spiritless rules. He said, It's not about you. Concentrating on the past, I bury. I forgive you, you just worry. I know your past, I wrote your story, but all things bad and good work for my glory. Put it like this, what you made for bad, I meant for good, because all things work towards my glory. So instead of sitting here before me saying what you did to ignore me, consider do what you can do for me. If you truly love and adore me, then you would seek my sheep to teach my sheep. Teach my sheep to feed on me. I am your rock, so lean on me. Tell the world and live in me until my second coming comes to be. Young I am. If you're enjoying the Gospel of Poets, let us know by calling 816-576-7234. Leave your name and we will mention you on the air. Our next poet, Mia Sade. Hi. Hi, you guys. Okay, um, this poem is more like of, um, this generation type deal. Okay. Um, they say that beauty skin deep. I guess that's why I cut myself to find the real beauty and the neat. And I guess that's why I cut myself deep. 
deep enough to see the blood pour off the skin, they call